Welcome to today's webinar. For the next 30 minutes, we're gonna take you on a little journey here, introducing you to a new solution. The title of this webinar and product showcase is called Improving Realism in Your ALS Training. My name's Greg, I'm the Global Product Marketing Manager. I have my colleague here, Elfie, who's a product manager and the brains behind the operation here. Now it's no secret, in the last couple of years, healthcare providers have felt that increased pressure to provide quality care. For the last two years, COVID-19 has only made this worse and it's exacerbated the situation and made it more difficult for our healthcare heroes. Here at Laredal, what that's translated to is an increased demand on us to provide high quality products, training devices, education to ensure competencies are met in your simulation center. Specifically for ALS or advanced life support training, this has pushed us to improve that realism by adding new devices like Monitor by Laredal into your scenarios. The purpose of today is to introduce this product, Monitor by Laredal. It's a multifaceted product that can act as a patient monitor, defibrillator, or ventilator. It's designed to work with our mannequins to provide a more holistic experience in your training. At the end of this, we hope you have a great understanding of what the product is and can envision it in your simulation setup. Here at Laredal, our goal is to, is to help save lives. We believe the solution will help us get closer to that goal. We believe by improving your realism in your training, our healthcare providers can be better prepared for any kind of emergency situation. Now, before we get into the demo itself, Alfie, and show our audience here what this product's all about, I'd like to take you on a little bit of a journey of an oh so common experience. This is an out of hospital cardiac arrest. In the first image we see here, we see a patient on the ground. This patient happens to be a resuscitant uh, QCPR, and we see our two paramedics addressing the patient. The paramedic in the background is carrying a device with him. Of course, that's what I'm alluding to as our new product today. As we cut to the next picture here, the two paramedics are addressing and going through their algorithms. One is, is, is working on airway management, one is working on defibrillation. But again, we see the same device in the background playing a little bit of a different role here, uh, but still being incorporated into the scenario. Unfortunately for this patient, he needed to be transferred to the hospital. And in this picture, we see now we're using a standardized patient. In the background on the table, we see monitor by Laird all again. Again, in a different setup, a different scenario, but still having impact to adding realism in this setup. And finally, this patient unfortunately had to be transferred to an ICU. We've converted the product now to a ventilator and also another simulator, again, to, to provide some ventilator management and airway management. So with that, before we get into the product demo, we'd like to introduce you to Monitor by Laredal. All right, perfect. Well, Alfie, let's get into this and, and show our audience here what this is all about. Maybe in your words, can you explain what is Monitor by Laredal? Monitor by Laredal is the device that you see here in front of you, and it's really designed to add more realism to your training. So um, we can use it in multiple ways, like you already uh, showed us a little bit in the pictures. So we can use it with uh, the mannequin, the mannequin that you see here, we can use it with standardized patients. So first you define what you would like to train. Let's say that you would like to train the use of a monitor defibrillator. Then you have two choices or you purchase a lot of those devices, but that of course um, would um, not be practical in, in some of the cases. Um, here we are talking about a simulated monitor defibrillator. So you can change the interface as you go and depending on the situation. So as an instructor, I hold one device and then I um, define kind of like what the student would see and I can adopt um, accordingly. Yeah, I mean, I, I really love that customization, how it can act as a patient monitor, a defibrillator, a ventilator, and it sounds like it can just interact how you want it to be in the scenario that you're setting up. Yeah, that's correct. We here see now the device with the pouches. Inside the pouches, we have a lot of cables that we can attach to the patient. If we were in a setting of an ICU or an OR, then I can easily remove those pouches so that it looks more realistic, like an ICU or an OR uh, monitor. If I want to use it with the TrueVent software, I also would remove them 
because then it would uh, look more like a ventilator. Right. And it's interesting, you were talking about the pouches there. There's a lot of equipment on, on our table here. Maybe you can just explain some of these cords and, and some of the hardware and, and what, what's included and what's this all about. Yeah, and just to be clear, you see here now that the instructor iPad is connected. This would not be the case in the real training. It's just for the video purposes of capturing the screen. So um, I would hold this being an instructor. And then if we come next to the patient on scene, what would we do? We would connect the patient to the monitor and then look at the vital signs. So we have those cables included. We have an SpO2 sensor, as you can see. We also have um, ECG cables. In some cases, it would be necessary to take, for example, a 12 lead ECG. So then I can attach this as well. Um, what we could also do is take the blood pressure. So there's a blood pressure cuff also um, that comes with the system. Defibrillation, one of the core things of ACLS, of course. So there's training uh, pads delivered with monitor bilateral as well. And last but not least, if we are interested in entitled CO2, there's an entitled CO2 sensor that we could put in between the bag valve mask and then I can mimic um, the real device as well. And then, I mean, this is great how we have all these extra things that we need for our training. Does this all come in a, a separate bag or how does this all fit into the product here? They, perf they fit perfectly into the pouches. And there's also um, at the backside some place where you can store some equipment. And for example, the instructor iPad goes right into the back. So then you can just carry it around and no extras needed. Perfect. And, and earlier today, you and I were just having a chat about the, the concept of respecting the timeline. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can go a little deeper in that and explain to the audience that conversation that we had earlier. Yeah. So depending on the setting, you can, for example, work with a patient that's already installed on a ward. Then this setup would work, for example. But one of the other possibilities is that we are really working out in the field. Mm. Then I come along with my monitor. I position it and then I start attaching all the cables and then I respect really the timeline that normally I would need right. to display uh, the functions on the screen. Yeah, and I really love that idea because uh, when you show up to a site and have, and have patients on the ground, we do need to pull out all the cords one by one. They may be tangled and that whole experience of, of untangling and putting in the right places or working as a team, mm -hmm. that's really important in our training, is it not? It's, it's for sure important and also the way you position them um, can be uh, a hassle sometimes so we can really mimic this uh, with all the cables that are delivered with the system. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thanks for taking us through the hardware. We also see on the screen there is some software running. Can you tell us a little bit about the software that operates this system? Yeah, sure. So the software that we are now looking at is called True Monitor. So um, it's really the uh, device that mimics a monitor defibrillator. Um, the curves that you see are activated by the instructor as you have attached the cables. And then, of course, I can also um, change those vital signs. And one example is that I, just to show you something easy, higher up the heart rate, when I click update monitor, the uh, new heart rhythm will display on the monitor. The curves on sich are also very important. So if I click on the curves, I have a whole library of ECG rhythms that I can choose from and that I can display. So uh, depending on the learning objectives and the learning needs. Again, update monitor and the new rhythm will appear on the screen. So I can go down um, and just show how the others look like. So for blood pressure, I can show normal, I can show underdamped, overdamped. So um, really depending on what I want to uh, use as a learning objectives. The same goes for the SPO2 curve and the same goes for entitled CO2. Uh, nowadays entitled CO2 is more and more used um, by professionals. So if you can make this more lifelike, it will certainly help them in diagnosing and taking action uh, a lot faster. And I see you're operating this, you're just pushing the different buttons and changing some of the functions. 
is there a way we can pre-prepare ourselves for a scenario? Is that is that capable in our, our software? Yeah, sure. We have a whole uh, scenario editing program. So you can um, write your scenarios up front and just upload them. And there's also a bunch of scenarios that come standard with the software. Perfect. Well, I see we have our two pieces of electronics here. How, how are these connected? Uh, how do we make this work together? Normally you uh, connect those two over Wi-Fi, okay. but you can also do it uh, with Bluetooth, um, depending on the circumstances that you work with, of course. So there's no additional needs for routers or any extra pieces. They, everything's no. contained. Yeah, everything is contained. If you would go out, for example, and like to train outdoors, you could add a router, right. but it's not necessary. I mean, I love that idea. There's so much flexibility you can do, whether you wanted to run it in a ward or outdoors, maybe a parking lot, or that original story about an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. All that's capable with our solutions. Yes. Perfect. Well, Elva, we have Rasasian here, and maybe you can discuss with our audience how she works with the setup and some of the great features that she has and, and how it works with Monitor by Laredo. Yeah, sure. And I'm glad that you asked because this is really unique. Um, we have so a simulated uh, monitor defibrillator that really integrates with the QCPR of our mannequins. So the QCPR um, that's built in, in the mannequin is displayed on the screen. Um, and as an instructor, I can decide whether the student can see his performance or not. So it will depend on the learning objectives, of course. If he's training, it's good that they immediately see the feedback and also have some prompts with how they can improve. If, for example, we are more in a setting of team training, I would not be happy <laughs> if everybody's looking at the screen. So then I, as an instructor, can um, toggle that off. And I will show it now on the screen. So it allows students to see uh, QCPR feedback. If I toggle this off, then it disappears from the screen. So it's really on how you would like uh, to work and in which setting. And I really love that flexibility because we can show it if we want to give the feedback for the student and how they can improve on their CPR quality, or we can remove it if it's testing or assessment. Again, it's all about flexibility with this product and in different ways we can use it. So that's a great feature. Maybe... Shall I give it a go? <laughs> my, uh, my CPR isn't the greatest, but yeah, maybe you can talk me through on CPR and, and, and the whole process and how it works. So Yeah, sure. I will choose a rhythm that requires uh, CPR. Perfect. So yeah, you can go ahead and you will see the um, depth. So the system is now asking to push a little bit deeper and a little bit faster. So you should, yes, a little bit faster more. And also please uh, note that the ECG curves and the SPO2 curves are also adapting to what you are doing. Thank you. Yeah. Another aspect of um, doing CPR, of course, is ventilating the patient. And also there we have some feedback. So if I ventilate the patient, I can perfectly see that my volume is enough or not. So uh, Perfect. And I can see those blue bars. That's great feedback for the students to see if they've got a correct seal, if they've done the right techniques to, to yeah, make sure, sure air, air gets in. Yeah. So I think you did a great job. So let's make the patient... Um, healthy again. Perfect. There's some buttons on the right side of the screen. Maybe you can describe what, what all that stuff is. Yeah, sure. Um, we now have had chosen a rhythm that didn't require a shock. So it was an unshockable rhythm. In some cases, it's a shockable rhythm. So that's why the right hand side is designed there. So if we uh, were in a scenario and we would have to administer a shock, like I showed before, one, two or more, I can predefine it and then the students can uh, toggle the buttons like they would do on the real devices. I also can do cardio version and I also can um, set up uh, the requirements for a pacemaker. And in the ECG library, you might have noticed that there's also rhythms predefined so that students can see, okay, this uh, patient is now getting paced and it's all fine. Yeah. Perfect. Well, the screen that we're seeing right now, this is our, our default screen. I'm from Canada and, and we use different uh, monitors in our hospitals. Is there a way that we can mimic clinical equipment and clinical interfaces? 
Yeah, sure. And that's one of the um, reasons why we made uh, this. So we now uh, see the generic skin, but let's say, do you know what's the main brand that Canada works with? Zoll, Lifepack, Mine Ray. Yeah. So you can choose. I will first uh, select the Zoll device, and then you see by one tap on the screen, you see the Zoll device in front of you. And now again, if um, I would choose a rhythm that would require a QCPR, you can try again and you will notice that the QCPR is also displayed like it is displayed on a Zoll device. So depending on how uh, you like to train, you can choose different interfaces. So let's come back to this one. So we have um, an, an IntelliView from Philips that we can uh, show. So that's more an in-hospital uh, training device. And um, you also um, mentioned MindRay. We can display the MindRay as well. Those updates are pushed um, via the normal app updates. So um, once we have one that comes out again, you do the update and you have it. Perfect. So we don't have to go to a website or anything to download. It's just pushed like a regular app yes. update. Perfect. I'm just going to take a one little step back. In the very beginning, I told that story of the out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. In that last scene, the patient was in the ICU on a ventilator. How is that done with monitor by layer at all? You can choose uh, on the screen whether you want to display the monitor part. And another side of the software is the ventilator part. So if I just click on ventilator, you will see that now that the screen uh, mimics a ventilator. And it also reflects um, the speed of, of breathing and you can do the settings as if you would do on a ventilator. For now, it's the generic one that you see. Um, we are also working on more interfaces like we have done with the monitor defibrillator so that you can really choose which one you're used to work with and then train with those. Perfect. And I think that really goes to the whole idea of this product to have flexibility. It can be used in different scenarios, whether it's an ICU and a ventilator or out on the street and you're using it as a defibrillator. Lots of different uses, lots of flexibility, but of course the ultimate goal is to add realism to your training. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks again for, for joining us for that last little bit here. We hope you under, get a good understanding of what Monitor by Lairdall is. But before we get on uh, to the end of this, I wanted to share a few resources that we have online that really explain what the product is. This demonstration that Elfie and I did is, is going to be is recorded and it's going to be on, on our website for you to view at a later time. But I just wanted to show a few other resources. Uh, Elfie's gone to our webpage here and you can see Monitor by Lairdall. And in the top, there's a section called support. Now, if you can just work your way through this, and there's a how to videos tab. This tab here, it's really a great resource, not only for monitor, but really all our different products. We've got a whole assortment and repository of videos that take you step by step through different procedures in the products you see here. Down at the bottom, we have monitor by Laredal, and we'll click into that. And we have three different videos that we've uploaded. The top left one is really about starting the product and when you get it and how to set it up. If you are comfortable with Apple products, this is, will be second nature for you. But if this is your first Apple product, it will kind of go through the whole um, face ID, setting up passcodes, and just some recommendations. Again, if you, if you know how to use our Apple products, this will be a breeze for you. But if you don't, it's just some guidance on how to set it up. In the top right, the second video, this is really about day-to-day -day use. And Elfie showed you how the cables all work and the pouches. This is, again, just going through that process and how the product works together and how you would use it on a day-to-day -day basis and different customizations you could do. In the bottom, this is all about con con connectivity. This is, again, how everything connects over Bluetooth and take you step-by-step -step on which buttons to click on how to make sure the student and the instructor iPads work together, then, of course, adding in a, a mannequin itself. Elfie, if you can just go back one page. Now, it's really important to remember that Monitor by Lair Laridol is powered by TrueVent and True Monitor software, and we can see it there, and the same idea exists for this. There's a whole repository of videos explaining what the products are and taking you through step by step on some of the different advanced and simple and basic features. Again, this is just resources for you, the audience, on how to use our products. If you're comfortable and expert and achieve mastery of them, that's fantastic. 
If not, some opportunities here to, to help with your training. So I just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully it provides a bit more insight into the product. And before we end here, I know there's been already a few questions about this product and how it works. Um, so I thought, Alfie, in, in the last little bit, we'd just go over some of the questions that have already come to us and just address them for the audience here. So, Okay. Well, the first question we have is, it's really important to show lab results or x-rays in, in real situations. Is that possible with Monitor by Laird all? Yeah, sure. When you look at the bottom of the monitor, you see investigation. When you click that tab, for example, now we land on the lab result one. So you can use the ones that are uh, preloaded in there. If you say in my hospital, we always work with the same setup, same color coding or something like that. You just take a picture of it and you can upload it very easily so you can train how you work. Um, the same goes for x-rays. A lot of them are predefined, but you can also upload your own. Then when you've chosen the one that you want to show to your students, you just choose it and then click send and show. And then it will appear on the screen of the student. So um, I would say very convenient. One last thing that uh, might help you is something's happening around the patient and you would like to draw attention to it, something very positive that you want to come back to or something that can be improved. You just grab your iPad as an instructor, you take a picture of it and then you also can upload it and push it to the screen. For example, I um, choose now a picture that I've taken, I push send and show and it will immediately show our colleague now on the screen. Uh, that's our lovely cameraman Ola here in, in the studio uh, filming us. So, yeah. And I think that's really a great feature because simulation really is about the debriefing process. And if there's a, a moment we wanted to capture and identify, this is a great way we can take a photo and, and use it as a marker for discussion. So. Yes, sure. Perfect. Uh, next question. We've got Recessi and QCPR here in front of us, but what other mannequins does this setup work with? It works with all the Bluetooth compatible mannequins that we have. So the Resucian QCPR obviously, but also the QCPR uh, Junior and Resuci Baby. So Resuci Baby, Resuci Junior, Resuci N, but also the Little N QCPR, Little Junior and Little Baby QCPR. So if you have those and you're looking, okay, I would like to have a monitor to add some realism, perfect you already have a compatible mannequin. Perfect. Yeah. So it's really any of our Bluetooth mannequins yes. is compatible and fully integrated. Yes, it is. Perfect. I think about my app, I mean, I've got an iPad here and my iPhone at night. I'll just put it on my bedside table and plug it in. Is there any tricks or things we need to know when charging the Apple products? No, we deliver the chargers with it. So you just plug them in and for the instructor, um, for the iPad that's in there, you don't need to take it out. There's just an opening on the back of the monitor and you plug it in as you would because there's a shortcut built in, so oh. it's easy. Perfect. So we don't actually have to take it out of the case no. to charge. I've got a three-year-old daughter who would love to take it out and play some games on it. If that's <laughs> something she wanted to do, is it possible to take the iPad out? Is that glued in place? No, it's possible. It's just two screws that you have to take out and then you can reach the device itself. Perfect. And then we've got one last question here. Um, this, the CPR feedback, is there any additional accessories that you need to, to receive it or is it all included? Just really about CPR. Yeah, no, there's nothing that you need to purchase extra or you have to provide extra. As soon as you have um, a Bluetooth compatible mannequin of the Lardal portfolio, you can make it work. No additional tools needed. Perfect. So all the CPR feedback is embedded in the mannequin and we're using that yeah. translated over to monitor. Perfect. Yeah, well, thank you so much, Elfie. I think that's going to conclude our show today. Uh, we really appreciate you spending the last 20, 30 minutes with us. Um, and hopefully we've provided some insight and some knowledge to you about our newest solution, Monitor by Laerdal. Uh, please contact your local rep uh, if you have any other questions about the product. Um, and we really do appreciate you finding time for us. So. Thanks again for spending your time and bye for now. Yep. Thanks so much.